I've been recording with a dirty screen this whole time. Oh my God, yo. What's good, my peoples? In today's video, I'm going to show you what I sold in the past two days. I recently sold this microphone for 40 bucks. I paid about $7.50 for it. This Tommy Bahama shirt sold it for 25 bucks, and I paid around $4 for it. And this Cabela's puffer vest sold it for $44.95, and I paid about $12. So I'm going to ship this out. And at the end of the video, I'm going to break it down to show you exactly how much profit I made after the eBay fees and the delivery fees and how much I paid for these items. So stay tuned. Let's go. Okay, the Cabela's extra large and then we got the Tommy Bahama extra large. Let's get it out. Um, so here it is. Sorry for the lighting. Okay, here it is. And now I gotta look for the microphone. So the microphone is back here. Let me get out, let me get this out the way. All right, whatever. microphone okay let's uh let's see how we can mail this out so the goal is to make sure whatever we mail out we mail it out as cheap as possible so that we could make as much profit as possible. Make sure you have a scale with you at all times. And so this microphone weighs two pounds and 8.3 ounces. So that tells me that I have to find a way to ship it out either in a flat rate envelope, um, maybe a flat rate poly bag envelope, which I have here. This is too thick, it's definitely not going to work, so that's not the question. Um, yeah, this is pretty thick. I don't think it'll fit. Let's try it. Let's see if it works. Nah, it's not gonna work. All right, I'm uh, I'm gonna have to work. I'm gonna have to make a miracle because I really don't. I thought these boxes over here. I'm not these boxes. These are for shoes. I don't think it'll fit here. It's not. this this box but this is pretty big you know if I use this box I might have to pay a little bit more than just putting it in a poly bag but I'll see let's see we can always check I have the microphone inside this large priority mailbox and now it weighs out to be three pounds and 3.8 ounces close to four so three three pounds four ounces let's check let's check out pirateship.com and see how much it will cost us uh, to ship it out well pirateship.com or you could actually do it from the from your ebay store or app i'm gonna, I'm gonna do it from the ebay store hold on all right so i'm working on the microphone and i put in the weight 
dimensions is going to come out to be three pounds four ounces the box is 12 by 12 by 9 if i'm using usps party uh, mailbox and the total is twenty dollars and fifteen cents so that's a big no-no i am not going to pay twenty dollars and fifteen cents for that um i did find ups ground which is the cheapest for thirteen fifty six. But if I'm using UPS ground, I, I, I can't use this USPS box. Uh, so <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make the dimensions and the weight a little smaller. So let's take it out of the box. put some bubble wrap on it so we cover it up with bubble wrap and now we're gonna use poly bags My poly bag is not big enough. I hate it when that happens. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Alright, well, it's not the end of the world. It is not the end of the world. Okay, I think I know what I could do. Just watch. I'm just gonna cut one side of the poly bag. Cut one side of the poly bag. Holly back.
Oops, that side. So, whatever. Another try. Twelve ten three. All right. So I just uh, measured this box. Came out to be twelve by ten by three, and it weighs two pounds ten ounces. Let's check it out. One second. USPS is charging seventeen dollars and twenty one cents. Um. And FedEx ground. Look at look at FedEx. Wow, FedEx is charging ten dollars and fifty seven. Okay. Hmm. Really don't have good faith with FedEx. All right. So I'm gonna most likely I buy from U UPS. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna buy from UPS. Let's see. But I'm not gonna buy it through the eBay app. I only recommend buying USPS through the eBay website or app. But when it comes to buying UPS labels uh, through eBay, it's a nightmare. And the reason I say that is because I uh, I shipped out a golf club a few few weeks ago. Came out to be like fourteen dollars to ship it out using UPS, and eBay didn't charge me until the item got delivered, um, which was like, well, the item got no actually they didn't yeah they they got delivered. Like three days after I sh uh, I sent it to U UPS, but eBay didn't charge me. Like ten days after I actually bought the label, and on top of that, they actually charged me like about twenty five dollars. Um, so I'm still fighting eBay about that. They uh, I don't know why they they charged me twenty five dollars when I agreed to pay fourteen dollars. So that's a headache right there. So I don't recommend using UPS when it comes to eBay, only USPS. So with Pirate Ship, I'm gonna buy it by UPS. Um, okay, they're ch same thing. UPS is charging twelve sixty five. Um, and then, oh okay, okay. What's going on over here? 
And then we got USPS charging the priority mail cubic twelve sixty seven. So all right, I go with them. Why 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 didn't eBay give me that option, or was I looking wrong? Ah, oh, those sneaky bastards. Priority mail. Yeah, they didn't even offer it. You see, that's why it's always good to have two uh two ways where you can ship out. So actually I'm gonna use priority mail cubic. Uh the priority mail cubic is one to three business days and it comes with a hundred dollar insurance included. It's gonna cost me twelve dollars and sixty seven cents. This uh this item is going all the way to California. And I live all the way here in Florida, so of course, just my luck. Because they, if they would have lived down the street, I probably would have only paid like about $8 for shipping. But just my luck. Well, that's, uh, that's how the game works. Alright, so let's buy this label for $12.67. Ah, I've been recording over a dirty screen this whole time. My bad, yo. Hope it's better now. My bad. Okay. So this is definitely going in a poly bag because it's gonna weigh under one pound. So the cheapest way uh, would be just in a regular poly bag. So I like putting all the shirts inside a clear bag first and then put it in a poly bag. Just looks a little bit more, more nicer. Honestly, it looks nicer and I think I think that uh the customer appreciates it. I know I do. Leave a comment if you appreciate getting a shirt that's in a bag inside a poly bag. You know, not, not just a shirt inside a regular poly bag. You know, if you appreciate this, just leave a comment. Let me know. Um, where's my poly bags? Here it is. Okay, so I'll just put this inside the poly bag. nine pounds not, not, not nine pounds nine ounces my bad okay so let's get the rates for this all right so let's get a quote um, for the Bahamas get rates this is going in a poly bag the length is 15 by 12 and it's gonna be nine ounces Let's get the rates. Because this item is going all the way to Punta Vedra, Florida. So it's down the street from me. Um, the cheapest is USPS. First class package is only cost me, it's only gonna cost me four dollars and forty-two cents to ship this out. All right, that's a no-brainer. Let's buy the label. Okay, let's print. All right. Let's for this shirt. 
so now let's do this one. The Cabela's Vest, the Outdoor Gear Premier Northern Goose Down Puffer Vest. Alright, so this vest is pretty heavy. I could tell it's not going to weigh uh, under a pound. So, since it's not going to weigh under a pound, uh, well, let's, let's double check. Let's make sure. Let's just make sure. It weighs one pound, eight ounces. So, I cannot just put this in a, I could put it in a regular poly bag, but I'm going to look into other options to make it cheaper. And actually the other options to make it cheaper would be either a flat rate envelope or a uh, poly bag flat rate envelope. So will it fit in those flat rate envelopes? If it does, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think before I start doing this. I love to read comments. I like to see what you what you guys think. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm actually trying to uh, make this puffer jacket like extra small, as small as possible. Okay, <laughs> we were able to get it to fit inside this flat rate poly bag envelope. Let's go. Okay, it fit. As you can see, it fit. So just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna put more tape. So 
It's the USPS Priority Mail Padded Flat Rate Envelope. Um, how much did it weigh? Two pounds, I said. It really doesn't matter as long as it's not over 70 pounds. Oh yeah, 1.9 ounces. I just round it up to two pounds. Really doesn't matter. Yeah, rates. This package is going all the way to Indianapolis, Indiana. And it's only going to cost me $8.30 to ship it out. So let me buy the label. All right, so we're all done. So now all I have to do is take these to the post office. Let's take a ride and I'll explain to you how much I made in profit after all the eBay fees, delivery fees, and how much uh, each item cost me. So let's go. This is my homemade eBay calculator that subtracts the fees and delivery costs and how much I paid for the items. This microphone cost me $4.82. I looked into one of my videos and I, and I saw that's how much I paid. It was $4.50, but plus tax, $4.82. I sold it for $39.99. And the shipping came out to be $12.67. So my total profit came out to be $16.78. For the Tommy Bahama shirt, I paid $4.28, that's including tax. I sold it for $24.99 with free shipping, but of course I have to pay shipping. So my total profit after paying $4.42 for shipping came out to be $12.60. For the Cabela's vest, I paid $12.88, including tax. I sold it for $44.95, and to ship it out, it cost me $8.30. So in profit, I made $17.38. For three items in total, I invested $21.98. And after I pay all the fees and profit, I made $46.76. Please make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Did I make a good investment or not for the time it takes to go thrifting and then listing it and, you know, having to wait for it and storage and all that. So just leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notifications. With me saying that, I'm lock and loaded. I'm out.